In this video, we're going to be comparing Zapier to Repurpose.io. So first of all, what in the world is Zapier? This allows you to connect apps and automate your workflows. The platform has over 2000 different options of different apps that you can connect and create workflows with. And so it's pretty much the king of the space right now for automation. Now, what's the difference with Repurpose.io? Repurpose.io has been called basically the Zapier for content. So when you create your content in one place, it allows you to distribute it to multiple platforms simultaneously. And not only that, you can do a lot of editing with it and having uh, your workflow pre-set up so you can create different types of content based off of uh, another. So we'll go through that. For example, if you're creating an audio, uh, if you're creating a podcast, then it can turn it into a video where it has the subtitles and it has the loading bar, all those things automatically after you finish the podcast. That's just one example. So we'll go more into that in a second. So if I'm looking for workflows to help me with my business or just my life, I would go with Zapier for sure. And because it has so many different options, I mean, there's, there's nothing to compare it. On the flip side, if I'm looking to have a workflow with content and I need it to be to a certain parameter to what I need it to do. Repurpose is made for this. For example, if I'm live streaming and I want to now create clips from the live stream, it does that. Or do I want the live stream to become a video on Facebook or YouTube right after? It can do that as well. If I want it to be from a podcast and now I want to have multiple clips on social media such as IGTV, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. It can do all of those things. So this is really powerful with the workflows in, in the publishing schedule. And uh, it's so powerful that we actually teamed up with Repurpose and created a course with them because we use it all the time. And this is actually one of the main reasons how uh, I, I actually got to my first 1K on YouTube by using Repurpose. So if you're interested in that, Take a look at the free the free course that teaches you how to use repurpose. Again, it takes your media to the next level, your content to the next level. And again, for Zapier, I just think it's totally for a different use case. Both can be used in the business. In fact, we use both in our business right now. Zapier for the procedure side and everything to do with the clerical and helping with the team. And then with repurpose, when we're testing out new ideas, new content, we use repurpose.io. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.